Now the problem with differentiating an implicit function is one that, well, we've got both x's and y's. And if I'm going to be differentiating it, I need to know how am I going to work with a y inside an equation to differentiate it. Okay? Um, and remember, um, the y itself is a function of x. So I need to think about how can I differentiate y with respect to x. So really what I'm asking is, I want to know what y differentiates to when we differentiate it with respect to x. And we can write it like this. So rather than writing uh, going from y equals something to dy by dx equals something, okay, really all of these, um, all of this time of dealing with differentiation, we've effectively been missing out a step in our working that we haven't bothered writing down. Okay? Because clearly, if I'm going to differentiate y with respect to x, I should get dy by dx. So when we've worked with something like y equals 3x squared minus 5, for example, and I went straight to dy by dx equals, really, I should have this separate line that says, right, now I want to differentiate the left-hand side and the right-hand side with respect to x. That's what this means. So I want to differentiate what is within this bracket with respect to x. This is the notation that we're going to use here. So when I differentiate y with respect to x, I get dy by dx. So what we're now going to do is we're going to use... Um, I'm going to use the product rule, or you could use the chain rule, it doesn't really matter, um, to show you how we can work with any function of y, okay? or get an idea of any function of y anyway. Okay? So the next stage would be, well, if we know what y differentiates to, what does y squared differentiate to? Well y squared can be written as y times y. So you could treat this as a product and differentiate using the product rule. So this would be the first times the derivative of the second. Now we know that the derivative of y is dy by dx. So it would be y times dy by dx plus the second times the derivative of the first, and we know that's dy by dx. So we get y dy by dx plus y dy by dx, which is 2y dy by dx. OK? So that's the first one. OK, so I now know that y squared differentiates to 2y dy by dx. Then what would y cubed differentiate to. Okay, so I would treat that as y times y squared. And I can do that because that's y cubed and I know what the derivatives of y and y squared are and I can use the product rule again. So I've got the first times the derivative of the second. Now y squared differentiates to 2y dy by dx plus the second times the derivative of the first, which I know is dy by dx. So I get 2y squared dy by dx plus another y squared dy by dx, leaving me with 3y squared dy by dx. Right, so now I know that y differentiates to dy by dx, y squared differentiates to 2y dy by dx, y cubed differentiates to 3y squared dy by dx. So you might think that if I tried to find the derivative of y to the 4, that this would be 4y cubed dy by dx. And it is. Okay. So you can show that, another line of that, do y squared times y squared or uh, y times y cubed, and you'll end up with that. 
So clearly, what we've seen so far, working with um, y to the power of a whole number, uh, or a positive number, uh, positive whole number, <laughs> let's get that right, um, it differentiates much as you would expect uh, x to differentiate, if it was x to the 4, but we're then sticking this dy by dx on the end. Okay? And it can be shown that, in general, that if you differentiate with respect to x some function of y, okay, then you get that function of y differentiated, the derivative of that, as you would expect, with a dy by dx on the end. So, that means that if I wanted to differentiate something that, like e to the y, then this is e to the y, because e to the y differentiates to e to the y, dy by dx. Okay? From that. So this now enables us uh, to differentiate implicitly, because now I know how to deal with anything that involves a y. And consequently, all it is is differentiate it like normal and then stick a dy by dx on the end. I mean, that's what's going on here, right? I mean, that's what you're seeing. So, you know, I'm not explaining that in a very formal way, obviously, but that's all that's going on. Okay? So, what this allows you to do is differentiate things that you never thought you could. So, for example, let's say I want to find dy by dx for um, x squared y plus y cubed minus 3x equals 2. Let's say I wanted to find dy by dx for this. So, I'm wanting to differentiate both sides with respect to x. It is very useful to write down this line of working to show the examiner and your teacher and yourself precisely what's going on. So, I'm differentiating the left-hand side with respect to x, and I'm differentiating the right-hand side with respect to x. Because it's very easy when something's written like that to forget you're also differentiating the right-hand side. So I'm going to have to use the product rule here to differentiate x squared y. And I know that goes to the first times the derivative of the second. So y differentiates to dy by dx, plus the second times the derivative of the first, plus y cubed differentiated, which is 3y squared, and then stick a dy by dx on the end. Minus 3x differentiates to minus 3, and the right-hand side differentiates to 0. So what I have is x squared dy by dx plus 2xy plus 3y squared dy by dx minus 3 is 0. Now what I want is to get dy by dx equals. So if I rearrange this so that I factor out the dy by dx of the two terms on the left hand side that have it, so the x squared and the 3y squared into a single bracket with dy by dx on the outside, and I can move the 3 onto the other side and the 2xy onto the other side, I can, then diff I can then divide through by that bracket. So dy by dx will be 3 minus 2xy over x squared plus 3y squared. And that is dy by dx as required. This is the gradient function for this implicit equation. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a few more examples of this to get it well, well practiced, okay? And, you know, once you've had a go at some, it starts to become very straightforward as you can see the process happening.